plug your nose. A fuel leak in Delaware County contaminated a local stormwater system. Good evening. I'm Dawn Timoney. The Department of Environmental Protection is now investigating the situation. Our Alex George is live now with more. What can you tell us at this point, Alex? Don, Brookhaven residents woke up to the smell of gasoline. They went outside and looked in the creek, found dead fish and fuel in the water. It was so strong that it was actually making me nauseous, and I thought, my God, that's gas. The smell of gasoline was permeating an entire neighborhood Saturday morning in Brookhaven, the source right behind Mount Vernon Avenue. I thought that my husband had spilled gas putting lawnmower. Hazmat crews, the EPA, DEP, and county officials were behind Kathy Finnegan's backyard attempting to control what the fire department says is a fuel leak. We had no idea it had gotten behind our house. It was terrifying. The creek's water had a sheen. The odor was everywhere, and in some spots, you could even see the contamination. People down the street, their kids go back there and play like look for frogs and stuff. The fire department says the Fish Commission is also evaluating the damage to the environment, but some of the effect is clear. Neighbors say this creek has dozens of fish, frogs, and turtles. Right now, officials are saying there's no threats to any of these homes. We are currently monitoring air monitoring for uh, explosibility, VOC, and PID readings with uh, numerous meet meters throughout the area of where the spill has traveled to and we're con constantly monitoring that situation. As of right now, there is no danger to the public and the problem is being addressed. What exactly caused this is still under investigation. The fire department says at a nearby gas station, the alarm for a high tank level went off at 1058 last night. There was a tank truck delivering fuel at that time. So at this time, we're investigating whether there was an issue with the tank truck delivering fuel or whether there was a problem with the tank itself that released the product into the environment. Crews attempted to boom the retention pond behind Coburn Elementary and say they found staining on the grass leading down the hill right to Larry Moon's house. Could have been a lot worse. So it could have, I mean, the fuel, the, the amount of fuel that came down to, through the creek could have been a lot worse. So, and that, and that could have caused other issues. Brookhaven Fire Department tells us that now the investigation is coming down to whether there was a problem delivering the fuel or a problem with the tank itself. That's all we know for now. We'll keep you updated. Don, back to you. All right, Alex George, live for us tonight. Thank you, Alex. A Lakewood